it's not something that's often discussed, how your food gets to you. People think they get fish from a supermarket wrapped in plastic, and they have no idea about its source. Fish from all around the globe, frozen aboard the factory, shipped to China, thawed out, filleted, processed, refrozen, and sent back to us, and being sold in supermarkets and restaurants, and people don't know it. 91% of our seafood is coming to us from abroad. Almost all of the tilapia is coming from China. 90% of the shrimp is coming from China, Vietnam, Thailand. The levels of toxicants that have been found are pretty alarming. Odds are it's not going to get inspected. Less than 2% does. The United States fishery today is the most regulated fishery in the world. I always thought it was kind of a noble profession myself. You know, you were working hard, you were feeding people. Not anymore. My income's been cut by 90% in two years. That's where it leaves me. I'm paying $5,000 a month to the bank. And there's no money coming in. What if you are wrong? There's no contingency plan for if you are wrong. Too many fishermen are losing too much money. There'll have to be a solution. Well, if your small boat fishing community can vanish. The more they shut us down, the more fish are coming from other countries. We're only willing to eat a certain number of species. We've created an entire irrational economy. The average American palate needs to expand what they view as edible seafood. Here we go. Macro Espanol, Jose. How do we create delicious dishes out of the fish that we normally wouldn't use? If Americans chose to go beyond the simple fish stick, the shrimp cocktail, and kind of just open up their minds and open up their palates, we could probably feed ourselves with the resources that we have here at, at hand. To my mind, the less American fishermen that are contemplating selling their boats and giving it all up, the better off we all are. This is the last great source of wild protein in this world, America's fisheries. We are at the crossroad. It's not too late to change things. If there are no fishermen, there's no seafood. And that is something worth saving.